नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स 1.5 पॉइंट फाइव हिज फर्स्ट फ्लाइट लिसनिंग प्रैक्टिस लिसन टू द स्टोरी अटेंटिवली द यंग सीगल वॉज अलोन ऑन हिज लेज हिज टू ब्रदर्स एंड हिज सिस्टर हैड ऑलरेडी फ्लोन अवे द डे बिफोर ही हैड बीन अफ्रेड टू फ्लाई विद दैम सम हाउ वेन ही हैड टेकन अ लिटल रन फॉरवर्ड टू द ब्रिंक ऑफ द लेज and attempted to flap his wings he became afraid the great expanse of sea stretched down beneath and it was such a long way down miles down he felt certain that his wings would never support him so he bent his head and ran away back to the little hole under the ledge where he slept at night even when each of his brothers and his little sister whose wings were far shorter than his own ran to the brink flapped their wings and flew away he failed to muster up courage to take that plunge which appeared to him so desperate his father and mother had come around calling to him shrilly upbraiding him threatening to let him starve on his ledge unless he flew away but for the life of him he could not move that was 24 hours ago since then nobody had come near him the day before all day long he had watched his parents flying about with his brothers and sister perfecting them in the art of flight teaching them how to skin how to skim the waves and how to dive for fish he had in fact seen his elder brother catch his first herring and devour it standing on a rock while his parents circled around raising a proud cackle and all the morning the whole family had walked about on the big plateau midway down the opposite cliff taunting him for his cowardice the sun was now ascending the sky blazing on the ledge that faced the south he felt the heat because he had not eaten since the previous nightfall he stepped slowly out of the brink of the ledge and standing on one leg with the other leg hidden under the his wing under his wing he closed one eye then the other and pretended to be falling asleep still they took no notice of him he saw his two brothers and his sister lying on the plateau dozing with their heads sunk into their necks his father was preening the feathers on his white back only his mother was looking at him she was standing on a little high hump on the plateau her white breast thrust forward now and again she tore at a piece of fish that lay at her feet and then scratched each side of her beak on the rock the sight of the food maddened him how he loved to tear food that way scraping his beak now and again to hit it ga 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 he cried begging her to bring him some food ga called her she screamed back derisively but he kept calling plaintively and after a minute or so he uttered a joyful scream his mother had picked up a piece of the fish and was flying across to him with it he leaned out eagerly tapping the rock with his feet trying to get nearer to her as she flew across but when she was just opposite to him she halted her wings motionless the piece of the fish in her beak almost within reach of his beak he waited a moment in surprise wondering 
why she did not come nearer and then maddened by hunger he dived at the fish with a loud scream he fell outwards and downwards into space then a monstrous terror seized him and his heart stood still he could hear nothing but it only lasted a minute the next moment he felt his wings spread outwards the wind rushed again his breast feathers then under his stomach and against his wings he could feel the tips of his wings cutting through the air he was not falling headlong now he was soaring gradually downwards and outwards he was no longer afraid he just felt a bit dizzy then he flapped his wings once and he soared upwards ga 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 call her his mother swooped past him her wings making a loud noise he answered her with another scream then his father flew over him screaming he saw his two brothers and his sister flying around him curvetting and banking and soaring and diving then he completely forgot <coughs> that he had not always been able to fly and commended himself to dive and soar and curve shrieking shrilly he was near the sea now flying straight over it facing straight out over the ocean he saw a vast green sea beneath him with little ridges moving over it and he turned his beak sideways and called amusedly his parents and his brothers and sister had landed on this green flooring ahead of him they were beckoning to him calling shrilly he dropped his legs to stand on the green sea his legs sank into it he screamed with fright and attempted to rise again flapping his wings but he was tired and weak with hunger and he could not <coughs> rise exhausted by the strange exercise his feet sank into the green sea and then his belly touched it and he sank no further he was floating on it and around him his family was screaming praising him and their beaks were offering him scraps of dog fish he had made his first flight liam o flaharty friends after listening the complete story please read it loudly thank you